All right, guys, today we're going to be out here working on this, trying to get this uh, booster changed out. And first thing we got to do is go in, up on the dash and get these two nuts off of those studs and get the brake uh, lever undone. I to prop my door open because the spring's going off my hinge. So, as you can see, Oh, you can't really get up in there. So uh, first thing I gotta do is, is take off these three screws and then pull this duct out of the way. And I'll do that right now. All right, so with this duct removed, we can see up in here now. And if you look, see it maybe like one way up there and then this other one is kind of behind all this mess and uh, of course you got to get this rod off right here and that means you got to take this bolt off right here on the brake pedal this one could be a pain it's got all this other crap on here that I ain't really used to fooling with. I suspect this stuff's for the cruise control junk. So, first thing I gotta do is get the uh, get the bolt out of the steering, uh, bolt out of the brake pedal, so we can get the uh, the rod undone, and then try to figure out how we're gonna get the rest of that junk off. So, once you get that off, you can see that the rod's only held on with a pin and a washer. So you gotta get something up there and get that pin off. This is what that piece looks like when you get it off. And basically all it does is actuate the uh, brake light switch and the cruise control switch if you got cruise control, which is that one right there. Well, that's the brake light. And that's cruise control right here. So, we'll get something up there and get that off. And then, oh, I hate working on dashes. Now, next we're gonna have to drop the steering column down. And to do that, we're gonna have to loosen up these two bolts that holds this clamp in. And probably gonna have to disconnect the linkage going to the transmission which is only held in with a clip. The other two bolts, I believe, are 5 8 That was a 9 16 bolt that I just took out of the brake pedal, in case you're wondering. All right, so after you take your 15 millimeter wrench and loosen up these two nuts right here, you don't think you got to take them all the way off. I did disconnect the linkage. You can take that same 15 millimeter wrench and remove these two bolts right here. And the column should come down, hopefully. We'll see when I get them all the way out. I forgot to disconnect this wire going to my parking big thing and it just clips out so don't forget to unclip that uh, now I gotta figure out how that goes back in there but anyway so you can see the dash is down or the steering column is down and now oh I meant to get that kick you out really can't still can't hardly access nothing up under there boy it's been a while since I did this I had to do it on that uh, diesel truck and of course it was straight shift so I didn't have to fool with all this all that had didn't have all this crap all up on the bottom of it so yep I gotta get up in here and look and see what I can find all right guys so well I had this steering column down I went ahead and used this long extension 
and took off this uh, nut that I could easily get to. The second nut is kindly hidden behind this crap right here. And I ain't real sure how this disconnects. I can't really see up in there. Actually, if I had this this uh, dash out, the uh, instrument cluster, it would be a whole lot easier to get to. As you can see where that shit's been leaking up in there. But it's behind this insulation, so I'm going to have to do some digging and try to find that other one. It's going to take a little while. Well, guys, I decided to go ahead and take off this got this instrument cluster because I just cannot figure out how to get that junk off from down there, but I need to replace this anyway. I broke the damn tip off of it a while ago and I dropped the steering column. Thankfully, I've got another one in the shop there that spare. So uh, I'll get that replaced and I pulled this little light bulb out for the check engine light. I ain't gonna need it. So uh, now I just got to get behind there and uh, disconnect the speedometer cable and take a few more screws out and uh, yeah, we'll be able to get this thing on out of here. Well guys, this probably turned out to be a damn uh, waste of freaking time because I still can't see shit without taking all that crap down there off. So, I'm gonna put this crap back on here. I gotta fix my little hickey and I don't know what the hell we're gonna do. I guess get up on there and start yanking off shit. So, stay tuned for more. Get this back on. Well, I got this damn thing back on it now. Down here, I've removed this stuff from this bracket right here to un I got to get this bracket off to get behind it so I got to get right above it and it's screwed into this uh, support so I've got to get above it and get two screws out to remove this bracket and then there's something else on the other side of it's going to be moved so uh, these that's pretty much just slid out and then this one just was kind of held on with with one screw. This screw evidently was missing. I think it was just held in with this clip right here. So, gotta be a contortionist to get this shit off. And, oh, if you got a bad back, it's pure freaking hell. But we'll continue at it. Okay, for the second, third time, actually I had to pull this back out and plug it plug it in. I forgot to plug that big ass plug in. Then I put it back on and then I decided I'm going to take this radio out because that radio is right in my way of getting to those mountain screws. So I've done took the little nuts off the outside here. Just got to push it in and get up underneath and unplug everything. And hopefully I'll be able to stick my hand through this damn hole without cutting the shit out of me and reach those mountain boats, hopefully. All right, so after getting this damn radio down, I didn't unplug it. That's a pain to ask to get it to that point. I was able to get back here and get this damn bracket off, two bolts, two, two more screws. And now, should be able to see the bolt the nut I mean uh, just over the top of that relay and I should be able to just stick extension right in there and undo it all right guys I finally got that daggum nut off now we're gonna come over here and I've got this nut right here off and I've got to undo these three lines and I got four nuts on the outside I got to undo. And then the, these two here, I'm gonna pull this off, pull the master cylinder out away from the booster and hang it, hopefully. Uh, there ain't nothing to hang it to on this one because it's all this insulation on here. Uh, we'll figure out something. 
and, uh, and then I'll just pull that booster off and hopefully it'll just be a bolt right back on deal. And I'll show you another trick you got to do first. All right, four nuts, a little bit of side to side motion, got that freed up and off. And here it is. And Tell, but it's definitely been leaking out of that shaft right there a little bit. It's kind of wet looking. So, we'll go over here and get a new one. It's already ready to mount. Well, you think it's ready to mount, but here's the trick I gotta show you. Notice on this new one, you ain't got no plunger thing. So, and this is where I messed up on my diesel truck putting it on. You got to take this out of the old one. So we'll get it out and I'll show you. Get it mounted over here in the vise and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so first thing is we got to get this little star thing out of here. And it's just, uh, you just gotta bend it around. And you should be able to pop out one side of it. I can't show you with uh, one hand, so. I'll try to set you up on a tripod. All right, so maybe my fingers won't get in the way. I think we'll just need one little screwdriver. But basically, we're just gonna bend it, push it, and pull it. Broke my damn puller. It's easy. Trying to get that damn pallet burn out the other day. Push that in and pull that side out. got a spring and a little rod in here. All that's got to be transferred over. Alright, so on the new one, I'm just going to stick that in. I've kind of cleaned them off the best I could. Notice these are pointing. I'm going to stick it in just like that. Put the rod in there. And just like that. Now I think this thing here it just helps center that rod and keeps the spring tension on it. There she is. Uh, four bolts holds that in, and these two bolts holds the master cylinder in. And all I got to do is hook up the uh, hook up the hoses, and then of course the two nuts on the inside, and put everything back on the inside like it was. And I just realized I forgot that damn bracket right there. That goes it goes on here. Well, guess what? It probably won't go back on there. I'm so daggum tired. This inside was by far getting that one bolt out, or one nut off, was by far the worst part of the whole damn job. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and hope this helps.